thanks so much for joining me, Ian Ross. Um, and not Ian Ross. <laughs> I remember that one now. So, Ian, you've been um, a, a artist in resident at Facebook, among other things. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you explain what that is? So, I originally went there to paint a mural in the cafe for the chefs. And they liked the idea of me doing it live so that people could interact with me. So, I think at that point in time, Facebook had 1,500 employees. And they would all come and see me paint at breakfast, lunch, dinner every day as well as all the guests, so upwards, I don't know, three, 4,000 people a week maybe would come in. And during that time, I started showing paintings on the side and selling paintings, and then they offered me a warehouse for my art studio and said, would you like to come and work here all the time and do more murals for us and curate the art in other spaces? So I said, yes, of course, <laughs> it's amazing, you know, so it's very unplanned. And did you get paid in a uh, Facebook stock like the famous case of the, the nope. graffiti artist? I guess you hear that question often, right? I do, I do. Yeah, I'm the guy after David Cho. So he was 2006, <laughs> and he, uh, you know, he opted for sixty thousand dollars worth of stock instead of sixty thousand dollars. So. And that turned out to be yeah, millions, hundreds of millions, hundreds yeah. of millions. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. So um, uh, tell us about art and tech from a sort of a Silicon Valley or West Coast. You live in San Francisco perspective. Um, yeah. uh, how, how multidisciplinary is the tech scene in, in the um, West Coast? I mean, just from my personal experience, I find that a lot of these startup companies, tech companies, they like to follow the example that Facebook has set and companies that are highly creative that have brought uh, street art and, and other types of art into the office and on the walls and there's spray painting everywhere and they're really loose and they like to encourage you know people to take risks and fail better and, and bringing in all that art really makes the environment cool and inspiring. So I've found that a lot of these other companies, they kind of follow that lead and, and they want to create a workspace that's exciting to be a part of and, and keep people passionate about what they're doing. And, so. and you've worked with other companies now as well. And yeah. is it always a similar? Can you tell uh, maybe which companies they are and, and what kind of art? Is it always uh, the common areas? Is it yeah, um, portraits? Situation. Is it uh, what kind of art is it? Yeah. I mean, my, my art is abstract, but uh, like when I painted a mural for Google, they wanted this very outdoorsy theme, and mm -hmm. so I pitched three different things, and the one that they picked was deer. So I, I did these huge deer that were larger than life that were filled with sort of my style and patterns, and then I did a Lyft headquarters, and Zimride, and they, they wanted like these Banksy-esque like road lines going up the walls and exploding into murals, so I outfitted like the entire two floors with this design that also had murals going on. Each situation is different. So, And is it okay for you as an artist that a lot of these probably will not stay forever? Or yeah. are they meant to stay forever? It's it's probably impossible, right? If, if they're yeah. outdoorsy and... So Facebook, they would put um, panels up so that they could move them. I, most okay. of the work I did there was before they moved to Menlo Park to the big office. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, they would put panels up so they could take the murals with them, a very large scale in installation artworks. So, uh, but yeah, I, I'm fine with the impermanence. You know, it's I, I like art that's site specific and it's uh, installation based. I did a lot of installation art in ceramics in college as well. So, I think that it's unique when the place is creates the the work in a way. So. And you've been on a panel today, um, which was called uh, Work versus Life. Mm -hmm. um, what's your take on this? Uh, how big of a problem is it in, in uh, the West Coast and the startup companies that you've seen from the inside um, yeah. um, of people working too much? Is there a big problem, burnout? I think so, yeah. And I mean, I don't, I don't know about other people's um, experience with burnout, but it seems like they, a lot of these companies make it very easy. There's free food and there's Wi-Fi buses that transport you back and forth and, and you can wear whatever you want and make your own hours. So people end up spending an extensive amount of time at, at their jobs and they're passionate about what they're doing, but it does it gets really hard to separate. I just opened my own business. I have an art gallery in Soma in the neighborhood where a lot of the tech companies are. So personally, I have been unable to separate work and life lately and it's it's really fun and it's just it's very difficult to to take a break when it's your own business and you're passionate about it so and maybe for you i can just imagine you know 12 hours painting versus 12 hours you know looking into a screen right it's it's yeah. um you, 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 I think you chose a pretty nice <laughs> profession there, uh, Ian. Yeah. Um, and um, tell us about your first experience in Berlin. You've been here a long time ago, right? How has mm -hmm. it changed and what fascinates you about the city also from an art perspective? Yeah, it, I'm fascinated. It just seems like a young city that's very open and, and sort of, not, 
maybe liberal, but uh, it's just exciting to be in. Um, I was here 15 years ago, and it was very brief, only for a day and a half. And I just remember there being cranes everywhere throughout the sky, and everything was being rebuilt, and seemed like everything was changing. And that was exciting to me. And then now it seems like it's a, it's a very young and hip and modern city. So startup culture seems like it's found its home in the right place. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Ian. Of course. Thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.